I thought I would share my little Victorian Christmas tree with you, which is a present, a Halloween tree, not a Christmas tree. But this is the setup on my little um, bow-fronted glass cabinet. So on the tree itself are these little felt decorations which I made. So we've got the little ghosts, there's three of each ghosts black cats and pumpkins and all the pumpkins have got different faces on them. Cosmo doesn't like this one, he says it looks like the pumpkin's dead. <laughs> oh shush you. And then the other ones are some, like I said, that are Christmas baubles that I've, this one's got a spider on it. Don't know if you can see it very well in this light. And a bit of green ribbon. And this one has just got all different Halloween sequins. Some of them have come off now. And then back here, we've got a sparkly black spiderweb pattern. Have I got any with the bats? Oh yes, this has got bats on it. So they are some that were Christmas baubles, which I made Halloween baubles out of. And this lady here, she's made by a local maker whose name I don't know. I bought her from a little local candle shop. She's slipped down a bit. And she's carrying her own little pumpkin lantern and she's got a broomstick. I think I might have to move her from there, but she looks quite nice in there, really. And then at the back are these pumpkins that Ivy and I made when she was just a little toddler and she helped me to... Um, collage them and put the glitter all over them and everything and we did the faces together I drew them on and then she helped me to paint them <laughs> so they have lots of nice memories and these two lanterns they've just got the flickering electric battery powered candles in them and I can't actually remember where I got these from they can hang up they've got the little hangy things on them but I'll just sit them here. I wouldn't like them to fall. This thing was a mask, but I really like the way it looks. And then sitting in front, oh, you're not supposed to turn around, how rude. These are the, um, the stars of this little arrangement. I've got a Halloween themed unicorn. And she's, I think her horn is glow in the dark and then I've got this little witchy woo with stripy tights and a starry dress purple hair and a green potion in her cauldron and then on this side I've got what Cosmo calls little boy boo and he's cute little ghosty Halloween ghosty 
And then this little pumpkin witch whose pumpkin lid cake comes off. And these were all by, made by my very talented friend Nicola, who is Forever Fairies. I think she's on Instagram. Yeah, she is, and Facebook. And she makes the most amazing polymer clay um, ornaments. She mainly does them for um, wedding cake toppers, I think, at the moment. But she also makes really lovely seasonal decorations as well. And when we get round to Vlogmas, I will show you my many cute Christmassy creatures that I've got that she's made as well. I'm looking forward to what she's going to make this year. <laughs> I'll turn the lights off and show you what it looks like in the dark. Well, I thought if I showed you in the complete dark, you wouldn't be able to see any of it. But I think that looks very effective with those candles. I've got a plug socket down there. So eventually I'll prob probably add some Halloween lights. I mean, I could probably get some um, battery operated ones, which would be fine. But I quite like to use the outlets where I can. There you go, that's Halloween decor for today. It's been a busy old night tonight. It's gone 10 o'clock and I'm finally just sitting down with my knitting for half an hour. After I've edited this, I'm going to work on the sock and I'm going to finish this first. I worked on this earlier and I want to do all the spines of the stars and all around the, of the star and all around the edges with this, which is the sunset party from um, Vicky Brown designs and um, it's left over from the toe of my first of the two Lola socks <clears throat> so I think that'll work quite nicely and pick up on the orangey pink tones in the um, Fright Night oop that's the back <laughs> Fright Night colourway I'm not a neat tapestry worker no I'm not but I don't care so that's that. I'm going to say good night. I've got clean flannel bed sheets on tonight, so I'm so looking forward to snuggling under those. And I will see you tomorrow for an exciting trip to Sainsbury's. Yay!